Hello guys, welcome to my channel HVR Tutorials. So in this video, we will discuss about how we can capture screenshots using FLA UI. Okay. So basically why we need to capture the screenshots. In our project, we may get a requirement where we need to capture the screenshots upon failure. So when the test is failed, we need to capture the screenshot or we need to store the screenshots of each and every screen, right? Who knows, we may get a requirement like that. So how we can solve all these requirements? So the end point of all these requirements is, we should know how we can capture the screenshot. So we can tackle that requirement, right? So in this video, I will show you how you can do that. So first let me open my Visual Studio. Okay, so here is my Visual Studio. Okay, let me create one test method. I will name it as test capture method. Okay, so we are trying to capture screen, right? So I'll name this as like this and let me copy this test method annotation and put it here. So then only this will be treated as a test method okay so first let me give you some introduction so fla ui is providing one class called capture okay so let me show you so you can see this capture class is coming from fla ui dot core so here it has provided the description also provides methods to capture the screen right that means by utilizing the methods provided by this capture class, we will be able to take a screenshot, right? So what kind of screenshot we can take? That means you may have a doubt, right? So do I need to capture every time the full screen or is there any way that I can capture some selected area or is there any way that I can capture only the particular window or particular button or particular panel? Right. FLA UI is providing multiple methods to solve all our needs. So first, let me show you how we can capture the full screen. Okay. So let me just write capture dot screen. So what it will do? It will capture the full screen. Okay, so now, so what is the meaning of this line? It will capture the screenshot, but we need to save this screenshot somewhere, right? So to save that screenshot, we need that screenshot image to be stored in some variable, right? So first I will store this image into some variable. I will say full screen, IMG, okay. So now I need to save this full screen IMG into my local system. Till this point, we have captured the screenshot and stored it into this variable. So after the execution completed, this variable data will be lost, right? So we wanted to store that image into our local system. So how we can do that? Just put this variable dot we have a method called to file. So here you can pass the file path. Okay, the file path should also include the file name because while capturing the screenshot, we did not provide any file name. So we need to provide the file name how we wanted to save it. Okay, so I will do one thing. I will save all the screenshots into one folder so here you can see I have created one folder called screenshots. So inside this, I don't have any files. Okay. So let me copy this folder path and I'll paste it here. Okay. Then I'll name this screenshot as full screen dot png. So this piece of code will do the magic, right? You heard it correct. 
you don't have to write multiple lines of code it is very simple just two lines of code will do the work for you okay so let me run this so here is my method uh, my test method name is test capture method okay so let me run this so it should capture the full screen okay whatever the screen that is visible now that screen should be captured right so the test execution is completed so let me open the screenshot folder so you can see there is a file that is full screen so you can see it has captured the full screenshot okay so this is how we capture the full screenshot so now we'll see how we can capture the a single element okay so let me just copy comment this so for that i will use the previously used application that is bank system okay so for the people who are watching this video for the first time so let me show you how the bank application looks like so you can get this bank application from my github url in the my in my github url you can find this fla ui practice repository open that and you will find this bank system project inside bin inside release we will have this exe file okay so double click on that so this is the bank system application so what i will do i will try to capture uh, this login button okay okay let me keep it like this uh, i need to inspect the login button again right so so first let me copy the code for launching the bank system application for the time being i am copying here but for the people who are watching for the first time right you can easily understand this piece of code because i hope if you are watching this video you already knows how to launch an application okay so considering that i'm copying this code and pasting it here okay and i'll open this fla you inspect and let me inspect the login button okay the login button is inspected and the button name is login okay so let me just close this application now so i wanted to capture that login button right so i have a main window here main window dot uh, right now i will use find first descendant because i don't know in which panel it is a child okay so i will say cf dot by name my element name is login right so this is the element here you don't have to convert this element into particular type because we want we want to capture one element that might be a button or a panel or anything okay so let me keep it as generic automation element only so let me store this element into some variable i'll name the variable as login button okay so we wanted to cap so we wanted to capture this login button screenshot for this also the methods are available under capture only okay so i will name the login button images login img i will use the capture and we have a method called element okay so using this element method we can capture the particular element so here you can see it is asking us to pass automation element so this login button is an automation element right so i'll simply pass pass this okay let me save this so we'll try to execute this but sorry uh, i forgot one thing so here 
we got the image into this variable but we did not store it right so i'll try to store it we'll say login image dot and here i will say login button okay so into the same folder i am going to store this image so let me run this So you can see the application is opened and the test is passed. That means the screenshot has captured without any error. So let me close this application. Go back to screenshots folder. So you can see it has captured only the login button without any extra area, right? So this is how we capture a particular element. So similarly, we also discussed if we wanted to capture a specific area, how we can do that, right? So further, there is another method called. So first, let me comment this code. Because to capture some particular area, I don't need this piece of code. Okay. I'll copy this entire code. I'll comment in this visual studio only i will select any area so i will name that as rectangle image capture dot you have a method called rectangle okay so inside the, uh, this rectangle method you need to pass a rectangle instance okay a rectangle will have a start position and what is the height and what is the width and what is the end point right so you need to mention x-axis and y-axis right so let me show you how we can create rectangle instance new rectangle here you can see double x y width height so for example if i say from here i need to capture this will have some x location x axis location and y axis location and from here how much height and how much width i need to capture right that is only the rectangle right so for now i will take all dummy values let's say like 500 by 500 okay and uh, width is 100 and the height is 150 let me just say like this okay so let me store this so this also i'm going to store in the same location with a different file name so let me change the file name i'll say rectangle image okay so let me run this So the execution is completed open the screenshots folder so here you can see it has captured some screen right we have provided the dummy values if we have provided the particular values the proper values we can see the image properly so here i think it has captured this location it is showing these three lines and this flower braces right right so you can see the width is 100 and the height is 150 okay i hope this video helps you if you have any queries regarding capturing screenshot or if you face any errors while capturing screenshot please let me know in the comment section below thank you guys bye bye i hope you enjoyed this session if you like this video please hit the like button and also share it with your friends Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.